Hey, Tom, this is the uh, machine that uh, we were talking about on the phone. And I wanted to go over it with you a little bit. So this is the SandMig 400 MP. It's a 400 amp multi-process welding machine. So it does MIG, stick, and DC TIG. And we typically couple this together with one of two feeders. The one I have here is the Sky 4 HD which is a heavy duty feeder. I will tell you a little bit about both of these machines, okay? I'm gonna start with the power source, 400 MP, switches on the back. So this machine, I've got it connected right now to 230 single phase uh, at my house. It will work, operate from everything from 208 to 480, single phase or three phase. So either one, all you have to do is on the back is a switch. You have to tell it whether it's on high voltage or low voltage. That's all you have to tell. Okay. You'll notice the fan is pretty aggressive. But it just slowed down. So it has a multiple speed fan. It only gives it the cooling capability that it needs at the time. We use 50 millimeter dense connectors. Okay. Good for 500 amps. We use a 14 pin remote connector. That this remote connector is compatible actually with uh, Miller's. So ours are also the same voltage, 24 volts, and the same pin configuration as Miller foot controls or whatnot. Okay. So the front panel is pretty intuitive. Okay. This is our adjustment knob. This is the process selector. So we can select stick welding, lift art TIG welding, DC of course only, straight MIG, and pulse make. And we can just scroll through from one to the next. Our amperage control here. Uh, this is remote and panel selectors. So if you have the remote control, you can select remote. Or in this case, for stick welding, I'm selecting the panel control here. Okay. So of course, we can also change hot start. We can add a certain amount of amperage hot start or a cold start, whatever we want, okay? We'll switch it to TIG mode. Uh, of course, we're on front panel control here, and we can also use the foot control for the TIG as well. We can switch to our straight MIG without pulse, or MIG welding with pulse, okay? You can store jobs and load jobs, so you can have pre-programmed jobs ready to go. Um, you can, you know, have a procedure with a certain job, certain job number, call that up each time. This machine does very well on stainless steel, carbon steel, uh, relatively well on aluminum, but my push-pull system is not ready just yet. Okay? does operate with VRD, voltage reducing. Okay. Let's move on over here to the Sky 4 HD feeder. This is a four driven roll feeder. So all four of these drive rolls drive. It is gear driven with an intermediate tube. Everything in there is brass. Okay. Independent tensioners. Okay. This feeder takes the Quico number four style connector with the traditional four pin uh, power pin plugs. Okay. Have a selector button here for amps, metric wire speed, inch wire speed, and of course volts. We can remote control our voltage here. Okay. This is a trigger mode, so basic on and off trigger, or the fourth step trigger. Okay. This is run in for the um, a jog button for the um, wire speed, purge button for gas, and of course your wire speed control here. Okay. Includes the protective cover for spill the wire. Okay. 
the back here, of course, you'll also see burn back control, our gas inlet, the 14 pin style. Our feeders and our power sources are compatible with Miller. So if you can take this feeder, put it onto a Miller machine that uses the 14 pin interconnect, and it'll work. Likewise, you can take our power source, connect it to a Miller feeder, and it will work, okay? Now, we use, for our interconnect cables, this one's 50 feet long, so I'm not gonna go through the length, but you can see this is a coaxial cable. So everything we need is here. This connector connects to the, to the feeder on one end, and of course the power source on the other end. Okay. The gas is through. And then the interconnect cable is there. So you only have one smooth cable going from the power source, wherever it's mounted, to the feeder, wherever you have it. Okay, it comes standard with the handle, but you can also purchase separately a hanging pintle to hang these feeders from a boom or whatever. Okay, and again, the power source here you can see is. Um, multi-voltage, multi-phase, and pretty much these are beasts. Full three-year warranties on both systems. Everything is under warranty for three years, except for the HMI underneath this panel. Has a one-year warranty uh, in case of damage or something like that. They could ship. Uh, the way you would purchase this is we have, you buy the power source independently. We have packages available with uh, feeders or I can configure you one with whatever length cable hose you want or a coaxial cable that you would want uh, a shop mount uh, you know on a trolley is four feet this one that I have on my demo setup is 50 five zero feet so that's it in a nutshell uh, I know this will make a great machine for those guys if you have any questions or want to try it just let me know thanks bye